You don't want to let her get close. This game is all about counter picking, so pick characters that can reset neutral. Or if your character can't reset neutral, pick a character that has long ranging moves in the neutral. Like I showed you, like Frost does. Even Frost might get blown up though, so you have to be careful with Frost. This guy does good. This guy can touch you from far away, can reset neutral. So that's what you want to do against Jackie. Don't let her get close. Know how the sharp null blast works and how to counter it, like I showed you. And reset neutral. That's it. Peace. You want to know how to beat Jackie? This chick? This game is about counter picking. Let's counter pick. You beat Jackie by either zoning her out, if you're able to. She's able to leap, don't forget that. So it means zoning her out and running away or resetting neutral and keeping her neutral, using long range moves to keep her neutral. She could do it, this guy can certainly do it, Spawn can do it, and the best to do it, in my opinion, the best counter is actually Cetrion. And let me show you. And the reason why a neutral resetter, if we can call it that way, beats her is because Jackie doesn't have good projectiles. She has that little glue bubble thing. It's, it's not good compared to the other projectiles in this game. So if you reset neutral against her, she can't hit you, but you can zone her, you can keep her away, right? You can always just push her back. So if you pick any one of the characters that I showed you, you're going to have a really good chance against Jackie. She has no inherent weakness when she's close, which means you don't want to be close. You want to be as far as possible against Jackie. So with Cetrion, you win her and reset neutral. And if you're full screen, you try to throw rocks at her. All right, let's look at other things. I think she would do good against her. I'm not gonna say Frost beats her, but you can do slightly better. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult with her because she doesn't reset neutral as well as... Like someone who plays at this range here, it might be difficult to get her off you if you have um, Frost. But if you can push her away with this attack here, keep moving back, right? You create space, back one, look at how much space back one's create. Create space, you move, you move. It's all about creating space against Jackie. Like if you have Joker, I would say this matchup is probably 5-5, but the way you would want to beat her here is to, like I just said, reset neutral, bang, you push her away. And if she does back forward two, right, you duck. So you would do something like this. Now it's minus 14. If you're here, it's minus two. You wait like this. If she wants to back forward two, here you go, she gets punished. And you reset neutral because like even here, actually here minus 14 gets to, you have to block, but you don't want her to come in and she's gonna get sticked if she comes forward. So her best deal is to actually cover spacing by jumping on you, so be aware of that, you have a good jump too as well with Joker. We're fighting, we're fighting, boom, boom, I reset neutral, here you go, I'm at an advantage, you're at a significant disadvantage, you know, I'm annoying you with all sorts of stuff in the neutral. That's how you want to beat her, don't let her get close to you, ever! Don't let her get close to you. Do whatever you need to do to not let her get close to you. All right, we're here, we're here. I'm annoying her, I'm annoying her. Projectiles work well against her as well. This is not a real projectile, but... Anything to not get close to her. And let's say she does get close to you. I've shown this in another video, but here we go. She's gonna do this, right? <laughs> Probably if it's me that plays her. So she's gonna do this and fall on you like this. Did you know you could simply poke her out of it? Right, or even down one, like that, or even down two. You don't have to respect this, but it's a mix. It's not that easy. That's the counter. She has to do a bit of hits a bit faster. That's her counter here. There you go. She does it twice. She ends it twice, and then she falls on you and gets a full uh, combo. So that's the mind game. After the second amp, you can always poke, of course. Unless she triples it. <laughs> right, if I poke... If she's out of bar and I punch, I'm gonna get hit. She does it three times. One, two on amp, and then one non-amp. The non-amp, if you know what's gonna happen, is unsafe, right? How, how minus was this? Let's look at it again. Minus 19. And you don't even have to respect it, right? After the third, obviously you can just hit her out of the air, but I would wait for her to fall down, but... After the second amp, I would just go for it, because even if she gets you, she can't combo off of it, she has no bar, and she only gets 4 or 5 hit advantage, so just go for it. Anyways guys, I think that's how you want to beat Jackie. You don't want to let her get close. This game is all about counter picking, so pick characters that can reset neutral. Or if your character can't reset neutral, pick a character that has long ranging moves in the neutral. Like I showed you, like Frost does. 
Even Frost might get blown up though, so you have to be careful with Frost. This guy does good. This guy can touch you from far away, can reset neutral. So that's what you want to do against Jackie. Don't let her get close. Know how the sharp null blast works and how to counter it like I showed you. And reset neutral. That's it. Peace.